Hello students, welcome to our afternoon read aloud. Today we are back to our Friday tradition of reading a Harry McClary book on Fridays. And today I have for you Harry McClary and Zachary Quack. Quack. So if we sneak peek the cover and you hear that someone is called Quack, I think you might guess that they are a little duckling. A baby duck is called a duckling. And look, Zachary seems to be surprising Harry McClary a little bit. There's a cute little bee, and there's some other bees buzzing around. Let's take a look at the blurb on the back. Harry McClary decided to choose a space in the shade for his afternoon snooze. Dun, dun, dun. There's even an ellipses. So a snooze is a nap. So who do you think's gonna bother Harry McClary while he's napping? Maybe Zachary Quack? Let's see. Harry McClary and Zachary Quack by Lynn Lee Dodd, Puffin Books. What a cute picture of Harry McClary taking a nap. Here we go. It was drowsily warm with dozens of bees lazily buzzing through flowers and trees. Harry McClary decided to choose a space in the shade for his afternoon snooze. He dozily dreamed as he lay on his back when... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Pittery, pattery, skittery, scattery, Zip! Round the corner came Zachary Quack. Wow, look how surprised he is by little Zachary Quack. Look at his eyes. That's a surprise face. Can you do a surprise face? Right? Your eyes get big. We talk about those feelings with Ms. Dodson. And let's take a look at the chorus because you can join me for that next time. Here we go. Say it with me. Pittery, pattery, skittery, scattery, zip! Round the corner came Zachary Quack. Who wanted to frolic and footle and play. Harry McClary skedaddled away. Oh, Harry McClary just dashed off. Wow, I wonder how Zachary Quack is feeling. That Harry McClary just ran off. Oh, look. Look where he's hiding, kind of in the shed. Let's see. Over the lawn and asparagus bed went Harry McClary to hide in the shed. He lurked in the shadows, all dusty and black, but... Dun, dun, dun. Ready for the chorus? Pittery, pattery, skittery, scattery, zip. Round the corner came Zachary Quack. Oh, see, he found him, even hiding behind the shovel. Out of the garden and into the trees jumped Harry McClary with springs in his knees. He hid in the grass at the side of the track, but... Dun, dun, dun. Oh, look who's coming along. He's hiding here. But pittery, pattery, zip, skittery, scattery, zip. Round the corner came Zachary. Quack, quack, quack. That, I think, is such a cute picture where he just has one eye showing as he peeks out, trying to hide. Oh, and he's off. Down to the river. Through willow and reed, raced Harry McClary at double the speed. Into the water, he flew with a smack. Look, it's even all caps. But, oh, he's going to go for a swim. Look, he closed his eyes before he jumped in. <gasps> Pittery, pattery, skittery, scattery, zip. Round the corner came Zachary Quack who dizzily dived in the craziest way, whirling and swirling in showers of spray. Look at that. Look, you gotta stop and think for a minute, right? Because this time he can see Zachary probably. I mean, 
Zachary Quack can see Harry McClary, and when he goes in the water, it's perfect for him, right? He's a little duck. He's a duckling, so he can really play around, and he's having fun. He probably thinks that maybe Harry McClary's going to play with him now. Oh, something looks a little wrong. Let's see. Harry McClary was off in a flash, a flurry of bubbles, a dog paddle splash. He swam to the side and floundered about. He tried and he tried, but he couldn't climb out, scrabbling upwards and slithering back when, oh, he can't get out. It's too slippery. See, he's scrabbling. It's not working for him, but... Pittery pattery, skittery scattery, zip through the water came Zachary Quack, who sped round a corner and showing the way, led Harry McClary up, up, and away. Oh my gosh, it was Zachary Quack to the rescue. He showed Harry McClary a good place to get out of the water. Then... Soggy and shivering, back up the track went Harry McClary with Zachary Quack. Oh, he's all wet. <laughs> Zachary seems fine. Ah, it was drowsily warm with dozens of bees, lazily buzzing through flowers and trees. Harry McClary decided to choose a place in the shade for his afternoon snooze. He dozily dreamed as he lay on his back. There he is, getting down to his nap again. Tucked up together with Zachary Quack. Oh, isn't that cute? Look, now instead of trying to get away from Zachary Quack, Harry McClary has welcomed him and letting him snuggle up for a little nap. And look at that little cute one eye open. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? So for the whole beginning of the book, I got to stop and think, Zachary Quack kept bugging Harry McClary to play, right? And he kept skedaddling away. But in the end, Zachary Quack kind of rescued him, right? Because he couldn't get out of the water. And I want to do one thing, because we got to do something. I want you to notice... When I read you this page at the end, you know, it went, it was drowsily warm with dozens of bees, lazily buzzing through flowers and trees. Harry McClary decided to choose a place in the shade for his afternoon snooze. Is that reminding you of another part of the story? Let's go back to the beginning. Look at that. That picture, that picture. And the words are the same. So that's something I want you to notice. I want to remind you because I pointed that out earlier. We've enjoyed some other books like that where at the end it's like a cycle and it kind of goes back and it's just like it was at the beginning over again, right? That's always fun to notice. Anyway, I hope you have a nice afternoon. Don't forget to keep washing your hands, cover your coughs and sneezes, do some reading, do some writing, help your family around the house, and I'll see you next week. Bye.